In this video, I'll be showing you how you can unlock your FPS on Roblox and how you can even get more FPS by the use of Blockstrap. So let us begin. Blockstrap is a bootstrapper that is available on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. On the website, you just scroll down a bit to go to installing. Then you want to just press on this file and you will download it. It may show up like it's this file. This file is a bit weird. It's fine to use. Don't worry about it. Once it's finished downloading, you can then just go and click on it. It will start installing. Once it has finished installing, that's basically it. That's done. And it will launch you straight into Roblox. Then to go to the settings or to configure Blockstrap, what you want to do is go to your starting menu, then search Blockstrap and you will see there will be something called Blockstrap menu. You want to try to get that on your desktop to make it just easier to use or you can just click on it and you'll already go into the Blockstrap menu. Here is where all the configurations will be done for Blockstrap. Blockstrap is only available on PC and it's only available for the web version of Roblox, nothing else. This isn't a different Roblox launcher. What this does is it just changes the, Ro the normal Roblox launcher to have like specific settings that you can have like custom textures or custom UI and just basically a texture pack thing for Roblox. It doesn't do anything else other than just change the look of it and that's it. Here you can, if you go to fast lives, you can then change your, your FPS. This is how you can unlock your FPS to whatever number if you want it to be to unlimited then just set it to 9999 make sure that you have alternate graphic settings off to be able to use the fast flags properly and now you want to go to fast flags and here i'll show you how you can put the fast flags in so i'll have the, all of this stuff in the description below in a comment you just copy it you can right click it and copy it then you want to go to import json here you can then paste it and all of this basically does some changes to your Roblox, which doesn't make it look much different, but it gives you a huge performance boost. And you want to make sure you set this display FPS thing to off so that it doesn't show off on a thing. Or if you can have it on if you just want to see like a little FPS counter on the screen. And that's it. That's all you have to do to get it working. Now you can just press on play Roblox on the Blockstrap version. That will automatically make a shortcut for you. And now Blockstrap will run every single time you go and try to play a Roblox game. You will not have to launch it every single time you open your laptop or your computer. It will happen automatically. And even if Roblox updates, these settings will be there for you to just play Roblox normally with this higher performance. And it's just a great thing. Blockstrap is only available on PC and it's only available for the roblox web version not the not the microsoft store version and not on mac os or anything or even on phone and basically it just it's an amazing thing you can do a lot of things cool things with it like have you can multi-box accounts with it meaning you can run five ten accounts at the same time or you can also do like custom textures or you can also you know what i'm doing here is get more performance out of roblox this will run on any game it doesn't matter of course each game takes a bit differently like the amount of fps you gain from that game is a bit different so some games you might get a lot other games you might get little it's honestly just different for each game and now i'll be explaining you what the fast lags actually do because it's it's really interesting actually this will be in the comment section below and basically these are client-sided settings so these are things that only you will see and these are things only your side will be affected nothing else will be affected by anyone else you may say you will see things differently compared to someone else and these things are changed in a way so that you can get more performance out of it so the first four flags here i have them all categorized these are LODs. What is LOD? LOD is level of detail. And what it does is basically the quality of a mesh or a text, like a model, changes depending on the distance of it. 
Roblox has them set to a really high number, which basically just doesn't just makes it not even work properly, which is really weird. But what this does is it makes that really, really close. So you won't be actually still you still won't notice it, but it'll give you a huge performance boost when you do play the game. This helps you. This probably helped me get like a good 20 to 30 FPS just by itself, like that change alone. And basically, these are like different levels. So this is like the closest. So at 250 studs, that's like the highest quality. Then you go to the second quality, which is at 500 studs and below. Then you go to the third quality, which is 750 studs and below. And then you go to the final quality. So above a thousand, things will be the lowest quality. And this helps you get a really good boost. Then we have these two flags, which is for textures. This affects all the textures, like the quality of all of the textures on Roblox. So this affects the resolution of them. It doesn't. It does not affect the texture itself. It affects the resolution of the texture, and you can set this number to quite literally anything. So three is the highest. So basically, that will it'll force Roblox to load the highest quality texture on everything. So you can get some pretty cool looks from it. So that, like everything will be high quality. Two is the one that I'm using because that is a very usable state, but also it gives you like a good 20 to 30 FPS boost as well. In my case, it's, it is different depending on your device, but this thing is really good for, for a boost. And one and zero are a bit unreliable, so I wouldn't go that far. And it also just makes the game look really bad. But if you want to do that, you can. But I would suggest setting that at 2. And that's it. I just keep it like that. And if you want to, let's say, just let Roblox do its own thing. Because Roblox doesn't have its own system on, like, having a fluctuating texture amount. Which, I, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really work as much. But you can set, you can then set this to false. So then it'll, it'll, this number will not do anything. But for it to work here, you want to set it to true. Then we have one of the very important ones, which I think is the biggest game changer, which is this. Quality level override. What this does is this forces your client to make everything a specific graphics level. If you remember correctly, I told you that you should have the block shop setting for alternate quality setting to be off, because that affects this. So when you have that off, you have the default 10 graphic settings on Roblox. What this does is it forces your client to be at a graphics level of 2 in this case. What that means is this will now be at 2 no matter what your graphic setting is on the client, on like the settings place itself. And you can set this number to quite literally anything you know if you want it to be six at all times no matter what graphic settings you choose it'll be at six at 10 it'll be at 10. it cannot go more than 10 or less than one it's either in between those those 10 numbers and for me personally two is the best because actually graphics level one gives you less fps in my case you may have to change this out but it really depends but from what I've seen, 2 is one of the best numbers. And if you want, if you don't like how the game looks at 2, then just keep increasing it. Or don't install Block Strap. Then play Roblox normally. See what graphic setting suits you best. Which one you like the look of the most. And which one you get the most performance out of. And just set it to that number. So 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. Doesn't matter. You just set it to your specific number which helps you get more performance. For me, it's two, so I set it at two. Then we have these four things. This, you can you can set this false. This is just display FPS. This shows you like just a singular number of the FPS counter. It's a bit wacky looking, but that's fine. Uh, then we have self view present. It's the new camera feature thing, which I just don't like it. It comes up every single time. I just have it turned off completely. We have the full screen title bar this is the thing when you go and put your mouse on the top here and then like a little bar comes down which like covers like a huge part of the, of the screen i don't like that so i have that off and this actually doesn't work anymore so i have this one instead which basically delays it by like 
more than one hour basically so this is just works way better and this both basically do the same thing this is also a pretty cool one what this does is this will basically just remove your player shadow personally i think the player shadow it's like shadows are cool but like sometimes it, they, they just look really weird because sometimes like the meshes don't really work well with the shadows and it just doesn't look good so have this set to zero to for it to be off or you can just remove this in the fast flag if you want to and we also have disable post effects this basically just disables extra effects like glare from the sun or like blurriness it just disables those extra camera effects which makes the game looks good but you don't really need them so you just get more performance and lastly we have telemetry data all of this stuff is just for like like for roblox to use it just clogs up your internet so you can get a bit better ping or a bit more performance out of it these from what i've tested they don't really do much but they're just good to have i guess so you can never go wrong with it and let's say you want to not change the fast flags from here but let's say you want to change the fast flags from the menu itself again so it's block strap menu click on it then you go to fast flags i have them all set up here and let's say you don't want the telemetry stuff well you can just do that you can shift click it and then you can select it and boom they're gone like just like that or if you do want them back all you want to do is copy just all of it and it will only add the things that you don't have like so and boom it adds them right back just like that and you can save it right here and you can set anything you want here to just work and that's basically it now next time when you launch box block strap it'll open up automatically and you can just forget about it it's such a good thing such a cool thing made by pizza boxer and their team and yeah it's this is just how you can get more fps on roblox just like that i hope this video has helped you leave a comment if this did help you in any way please leave me your like how do you say experiences using this because i'm getting as much feedback because i want to keep this thing updated as long as i can this is the second video i've been making this on this specific trick that i've done in the flash flags and using block strap and i'll be making one in the future as well so if you want to stick around for that subscribe if you want to so i'll see you guys in the next one bye